good morning it's sunday september 3rd and uh, unfortunately we had our first casualty on the farm for the harvest season so dad and buddy are over there salvaging what's left of a turkey so um little miss our our, our infant child was up all night screaming for no reason like spoiled um nothing to complain about so her mother got next to no sleep i got slightly more than next to no sleep um and then this morning i got up and i said Corey, here you just you stay in bed for another hour or so because she's white like she combined late and then she was up with that kid all night so um i was sitting there looking out the window and i seen the dogs go crazy and they chased the coyote into the pen with brownie the little pony there um, and then the dogs wouldn't cross that bar uh, electric fence. So this coyote stood in there looking at Brownie and doing the stare down. And then the turkeys all came back from out of the bush behind the greenhouse here across the road and went running back into there. Those lean twos up there and roosted up high. But then another coyote come around. So it was like, it was chaotic. Cookie the llama, he put a pretty good chase on him. Three or four of the steers come blowing out of the bush like a army and chase them, uh, chase them coyotes away uh and I, I didn't know but like so mom and dad have been staying out here in the trailer so uh dad had seen this going on too so he hopped in the side by side and he put chase to that coyote chased him down and then all the way down to the lake and got the turkey back that the <laughs> that the coyote had in his mouth because uh no free meals around here so him and buddy are seeing what they can salvage out of the turkey they'll also be able to see how big the turkey is um and then we'll know how far away we are from butchering but i got uh just climbed into the hopper on the 9750 i want to check these gear boxes this one is new and now the one on the 9610 is new oh look at that that's good um the wheat we were thrashing last night it's funny it was quite a bit better of a crop and it seems to have taken the weather better Be oh what the heck's got to happen here because if you look at the, uh, you just kind of look at the uh, little bit of a sample on our drain tank here. There's a couple green ones in there, eh? Hmm. Seems to be more red ones than bleach ones. So. so that's all good. Um, oils are good. This, I think she said, needs to be fueled up. Also, we gotta blow the air filters because it is so dusty. And then, uh, guard to change. So let's do a little bit of servicing and then hopefully, with any luck, we'll finish the wheat today. Because we've got another, it's like 10 acres over there to do. And then a couple of green spots around here. So if we can get that done, we'll be able to head out west and take off a strip of barley. See what that's gonna test. Now, if that doesn't go, just two quarters of canola to swath and one quarter of peas in canola to swath. So no matter what happens, something will be getting done today. Well, that's it for the wheat. So the baler man, he's got a few straggly rounds to pick up. They've been struggling with that. Straw is just so dry. Um, it doesn't seem to matter. So that's a new Vermeer baler. And um, the one guy, he's got it a little bit older John Deere baler. And the other dude's got a newer John Deere baler. They just seem to all have a little bit of a little bit of issues, but they're getting it. Uh, they're getting something, and that's good. So we're not uh, we're not up to the belief that you do so much damage by taking some straw off. As you can see, lots of that stubble is still 10 inches high. So there's quite a bit of product there. If we go to harrow it around or say till it in a little bit, there's some, some incorporated back. And that being said, uh, on a year like this, we don't drop the straw behind the 9750, that's a rotary combine, because there's just nothing left. So a good half of the field gets spread and, and then half of it gets dropped. In our eyes, it's better to uh, better to help the neighbor out if he's a little bit short on hay or straw or something by dropping some that's a better investment than just putting it all back and, and 
going that route anyways. So. But that is it for the wheat harvest. We got to pick up a little bit at the dugout and then um, that's it. On to barley. We'll take the combines in, we'll pull them off. Check, might have to make the odd setting adjustments on the cylinder speed, concave, depending on how, the dry, how dry that barley is. Um, these hoppers out a little bit. Pull the combines off. We'll take that 9750 out first. It's got a monitor, which has been very accurate on the wheat so far for moisture and stuff. So we'll take that one out first to get a test. That'll give Dad and I time to unload all the trucks, move all the augers. It's quite a big job switching from varieties of 